Hello, my friends. Tashi Delay. Namaste. Good afternoon. Good evening. Good morning. Uh, whatever time it is for you. I'd like to do a quick compassion meditation. So you want to straighten your back, but don't make it um, tense, just straight. And then instead of your eyes being straight forward, you want to look um, downward at a 45 degree angle. So if this was 90 degrees, you want to slightly tilt the head forward with 45 degrees. Okay. You can put your hands in your lap. Um, you can cross your legs or you can put your feet on the ground if you're in a regular chair. And if you want to close your eyes or keep them slightly open, that's fine. For starting, just count your breath. In breath is one, out breath is one. So count to 10 and then start over. And tune in just for a moment to the tension in your body. On the in-breath, pay attention to the tension in your body. On the out-breath, completely let go. Imagine that, on the out-breath, imagine that all the tension just melts into the earth and your body is completely light. And we're going to do a compassion meditation. I want you to visualize Ukraine. There's a serious, violent war going on, and I want you to visualize a young mother walking down the street with her daughter. They're both very scared. A bomb comes and blows up a building and part of the bomb hits the mother. And it killed her instantly. And now the daughter is crying. She has tears in her eyes and she's pushing her mom to try to wake her up. Now, as we imagine this horrible scenario, we can take the suffering of the mother and the daughter and visualize it like black smoke. And we can, on the in-breath, can draw it out of them as if we're pulling, pulling a rope. So breathe that suffering in through your nostrils and that black smoke com comes into your body, into your heart, and it destroys your selfishness. And then on the out breath, imagine white light. You're breathing white light into the daughter and to the mother, giving them all of your wealth, all of your happiness, any happiness you've ever had or ever will have in your life, you're giving that to them. So let's just stick with that image for a moment. The daughter is crying. The mother is lying there dead. And we're going to, we're going to breathe in the suffering of the mother and the daughter. 
taking it into our selfish heart, which destroys our selfishness. And then on the out breath, we're breathing white light into the mother and the daughter. That white light saturates their body, envelops them with happiness. The mother is, she wakes up because so much love is pouring out of us. And she's got a smile on her face and the daughter's got a smile. But they're still very scared. There's a great deal of violence, fires, destruction, animals are dying, people are dying. This is a war. So just keep breathing. We're breathing white light into the mother and the daughter. As you breathe out, you can feel the sensation leaving your nostrils. As you breathe in, you can feel the sensation coming in and you can connect the in-breath with the suffering of the mother and the daughter. And on the out-breath, Breathing white light, which is pure love, compassion, generosity, giving them everything we have, all of our belongings, our love, our compassion, our happiness. Breathing it into them as pure white light, it saturates both of their body, brings both, both a smile on both of their faces. Now, as you breathe, I want you to start to breathe love and compassion into the surrounding of the mother and daughter, the fires, the bombs, the bullets, the killing, the Russian soldiers killing Ukrainians, Ukrainian soldiers having to defend themselves and kill the Russians. Breathe white light into that whole scene. Bring all the love and compassion out of your heart and breathe it into that scene. And then breathe in all their suffering, breathe in the suffering of the Russian soldiers who have been sent into a world, uh, sent into a country to kill innocent people. Breathe in the suffering of the Ukrainian soldiers who are having to defend their countries. Take that suffering into our heart as we breathe it in and it destroys our own selfishness. And then on the out breath, we're, we're breathing love, compassion, and all the happiness we've ever had or ever will have. We're breathing that into the soldiers on the Russian side and the Ukrainian side. as we breathe our love and compassion into that scene. All the fires start to be removed. All the buildings are resurrected. Green grass, flowers, happiness. And we're breathing an end to the war. can switch between pulling in all the suffering and the fire and the bombs and the broken hearts. You can breathe that in, taking it into our own heart. And then as we breathe out, the whole scene is being completely transformed. All the violence, the hatred, the sadness, just completely transformed into happiness. And we're giving away all of our material belongings now. Imagine that, and I'm doing this in kind of a fast way, but normally you could take your time and do this more slowly. But as we breathe out, 
Imagine that mother and that daughter are hugging and smiling and laughing. And as they walk down the street, As they walk down the street, shopkeepers are smiling and singing and people are whistling. And they're, it's almost as if there never was a war. Breathing all of our loving and passion into the whole entire country. And imagine that every one of the people and animals and all living beings, we give them all of our body, wealth, good karma, roots of virtue, anything good we've ever done. Our heart is just pouring love and compassion into all of these people. Radiant white light pouring out of our hearts pouring into those people and animals and all life forms in Ukraine and they're being turned into pure white light and they're so happy all they can do is smile and laugh. And then the same happens with, I want you to visualize President Vladimir Putin of Russia. And I want you to imagine that you're giving him your love because it's easy to give love and compassion to the victims, but sometimes it's very difficult to give love and compassion to the evildoers. So picture President Putin and breathe pure love light into him. And as you breathe in, you can take his suffering. Only a person who's confused, hateful, and suffering and controlled by negative mental afflictions would cause so much harm and suffering. So he's producing immeasurable negative karma for himself. And there's going to come a time where he's living in burning hell and he's going to suffer. And that's not good. And we don't like that. So breathe in all that negative karma and see if we can save him too. On the in-breath, we're breathing President Putin's suffering and bad karma into our hearts. On the out-breath, our heart opens up wide and the sensation of love, compassion, and forgiveness flows out of our heart into President Putin. He's the president of Russia. Now imagine all of his soldiers are standing around him and they've just been told to go and invade this country. So visualize that we're taking their suffering, their fear, their anxiety, their sadness, their confusion. We're breathing all their suffering in and we're breathing, we're taking that into our heart. It destroys our own self-cherishing and self-grasping mind. On the out-breath, pure white light is flying out of your heart like a rushing river. It can't be stopped. And it saturates the bodies and the minds of all those Russian soldiers and relieves them of all the harm they've caused and the negative karma. And it brings them pure happiness and they're all happy. And, and the president Putin and the soldiers are happy. And now I want you to imagine that they're hugging all the people of Ukraine and they're all laughing and it's a big party and there's, there never was a war. There's just love and everybody sits down and they join us in this compassion meditation. And if you want to chant the mantra of compassion, which is the mantra of Chenrezig, which is 
the Buddha of compassion. If you want to chant that mantra for a moment, it's Om Mani Peme Hum. 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 You can imagine that all of the people, all of the Russian soldiers and President Putin and all the Ukrainian soldiers and all the civilians are sitting down and they're meditating and chanting the mantra of compassion. And everybody forgives each other. There's nothing but love and happiness. <laughs> Now, the final step here is I want you to visualize that the Buddha of Compassion, Chenrezig, breathes pure white light into your body. And now you also become pure white light and every negativity, every problem, every ailment, every suffering in your body is completely purified and removed and you become powerful, radiant, comfortable. Your whole body is full of white light and you're relaxing. And you're feeling a great sense of accomplishment because you've just done compassion meditation. So just view yourself as this radiant white being for a moment. Again, this is a, a, a fast version of the compassion meditation. Normally you would take 20, 30, 40 minutes if you like, and, uh, do the visualizations, uh, taking longer at the end of every practice, we dedicate the merit as a result of this meditation that we've done, I dedicate the merit to all living beings and especially to all of the people of the Ukraine. And I dedicate the merit to all of the people of the Ukraine. May their hearts and minds be filled with love, compassion, and healing energy. And all the soldiers, uh, the Ukrainian heroes and protectors, the president of the Ukraine, I dedicate the merit to all of you. I also dedicate the merit to all of the animals that have been armed and all of the Russian soldiers and even president Putin. I know it's not easy, but I dedicate the merit to him. May all of you living beings become Buddhas. So I dedicate the merit. Thank you. Have a, have a great day. I love you all. I'm sending my love. Okay. Take care.